Okay, I'm going to show you some examples of Roman Catholic blatant idol worship. But first, going to read you some scripture. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 5. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Leviticus 26, verse 1. Go there. Leviticus 26, another good condemnation of the Roman Catholic idol worship. Leviticus 26, verse 1. He shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you sit up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Now I'm supposed to make a standing image, an image to bow down unto bow down onto it. There, that's what the verse said. But you're not supposed to have a standing image, an image of stone. You know? That the Roman Catholics are in clear violation of. Leviticus 19.4 Turn ye not unto idols, nor make yourselves molten go make yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your God. So, some good verses condemning the Roman Catholic idol worship. You know, they're making up a stand. You're going to see they're making up a, a standing image. They're rearing up a standing image. Here's the uh, first picture I'll show you. Basically, it shows these Roman Catholics bowing down to a statue of Mary. So they're making up, they're making themselves a, a standing image. They're rearing up a standing image and bowing down onto it. But Leviticus 26 verse 1 says not to do that. Second picture, again, these Catholic priests and clergy bowing down to a statue of Mary. I mean, clear violation of Leviticus 26 verse 1 and Exodus 24 to 5. You're not supposed to bow down unto them. And they'll say, oh, we're just venerating them. No, you're not. When you're bowing down unto them, you're worshiping them. Uh, third picture is... Catholics bowing down to a picture of one of their saints, one of their popes. And again, how, how, how can you say this is not idol worship? They're bowing down unto it. You know, that is idol worship by biblical standards. Fourth picture is them bowing down to a picture of one of their saints again. So we're going to bow down to a picture of it, but we're not idol worshippers. You know, blatant idol worship here. And then uh, Roman Catholic, you know, Another picture of Roman Catholics, the fifth image, another picture of Roman Catholics actually going to a god, a gods of gold. You know, the Bible says not to make gods of gold. Well, they have this god of gold they're bowing down unto and giving offerings unto it. And then the last picture is they're parading around these statues. You know, I mean, this is definitely scriptural, isn't it? I mean, and they'll say, well, you know, the, the Ark of the Covenant and that kind of stuff. Hey, God told the Israelites to make the Ark of the Covenant. God never told you to make these statues, these fake images of Jesus Christ, which is a violation of uh, Acts 17.29. Acts 17.29 proves that you're not supposed to make any images of the Godhead. So these images of Jesus Christ are wrong. But just blatant examples of Roman Catholic idol worship, bowing down to these man-made images, rearing up a standing image and bowing down onto it. A violation of scripture. So Roman Catholicism is, is a pagan idol worship. It is not Bible believing Christianity, it is pagan Roman religion uh, masquerading as Bible believing Christianity, which is the Roman Catholics, they don't even believe the Bible. They uh, hold to their church traditions and, and paganism over the scriptures. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.